you welcome to today's tutorial today we'll be learning how to cut a collar t-shirt and just like the round neck we did the other time i told you that you make sure you fold your fabric along the stretchy part so you can see this fabric too it's stretchy along the side and stretchy along this side make sure you fold it along the more stretchy part so that's how to fold your fabric whenever you want to cut any t-shirt either round neck a collar or v-neck so today i'll be working on the body measurements for a large for large large size yes adult large and the body measurement will be 38 the back will be 17 and the length of the polo will be uh, 30 the length will be 30 so i'm folding my fabric into four as usual because i'll be cutting both the front and the back together fold our fabric into four so after folding the fabric into four we can now insert our measurement draw your straight line which will serve as the baseline where we are going to start inserting your measurement please make sure you mark your uh, fabric on the wrong side Insert the length the 30 one hinge aiming allowance that's 31. Our back is 17, 17 divided by 2, that's 8.5, was 0.5 inch. So in other ones, you mark it. And I'll be working with neck width of 3.5 and neck depth of 4 inches. And for the back, neck depth 1 inch. So you can draw your curve. Now to form a shoulder slope, come down from here by one inch and connect it to this place. Some hole I'm using nine inches. I'm using body of 38, 30 divided by four, that's 9.5. Uh, so you had 0 0.5 swing allowance, that'll be 10 inches. So you mark your 10 inches there. Eh? Don't forget our shoulder slope is there. So get the middle of this. That's four inches. So come in by 0 0.75 and to your curve. If you have your more curve, I actually do, but I can still work with free hand. If you have a more curve, you can use it. So let's insert 10 inches down. Then we connect all the points. Make sure you cut the back first, the back neckline first. In the back neckline, remove the back. You can remove the back so you cut the front neckline. And that's that about the body. So we're going we go ahead to cut the the sleeve. So let's cut the sleeve now. For today's sleeve, I want the total length to be 9.5. And because I want to be adding band, I won't be folding it. So then my band will be in one inch. So I'll be reducting the one, one inch probably in total length. That's 8.5. Now you add the 0.5 inch to the 8.5 for sewing allowance. That's nine. So I'll be measuring nine. Nine. For the sleeve length. A straight line. So by the time I had the one inch band, I'll be having my nine point five. So 
So our ham oil is 9.5. So enjoy your calls. I want the sleeve circumference to be 6.5. Add 0 0.5 inch for sewing allowance. That's 7. Then you connect from here to this place. Another thing will be a uh, cutting for the color t-shirt is the placket, and for this one, I'll be using eight inches long, eight inches by six inches. So I've done that. Put your interfacing, and also take it to the four thread your overlocking machine with both sides like this. So let's go to the straight sewing machine and do the placket and also the color. Now I want to do the placket. The first thing you do is to make sure you indicate the middle of the the center of the front panel. So the center, then you notch. So after notching it at the middle, take your placket. Don't forget that I said you should weave it on both sides. Also get the center that's the middle and you place it at the middle of the front bodies now now this is, this is what we want to do to this side we are sewing 0.5 so the other side we are sewing 0.5 so 0.5 and 0.5 you sew it down till like six inches this is for adults six inches you sew from here down here you go this way you come back up so don't forget the middle of the plaquettes and the middle of the body was aligned After this, you open up. So you cut it open like this. Be careful that you don't cut your seam as you're sewing. Cut it this way. Then you go like this. Yes, sir. To this edge, to this edge. Don't cut your co though. Don't cut the same. Just make sure you cut it very close to the sewing. So, after that, come this way. And you put this like this. So you tuck it in. And bring it in. So this one we don't want to be up.
and you make sure you adjust it very well. So, you make sure you adjust it very well. So, this one on the light side will be the one that will be up. So, you sew from this edge to this place. From here, from here, just across this place to hold it down. So after that, after sewing that place, you come down like this, and sew. here so now what I'll do now is to join the so what I'll do now is to go to the overlocking machine join the shoulder the shoulder and also the side then I'll come back here to come and join the collar this is the collar I'll be using this is the collar I'll be using so just cut one leg so this is the collar I'll be using so let me join the body over there then i'll come back here to fix the color also i told you i'll be adding the band to the sleeve so let me just explain it because i'm going to join it also with the overlocking machine so this is what you would do take your band this is 1.5 but i want the length to be one inch and don't forget we, we added one uh, is half inch to here for sewing allowance put it on top of each other you are going to drag it a little so you are not going to be using the exact measurement just drag it a little because it's a stretchy band so drag it a little so you sew at 0.5 inch with your four thread overlocking machine add the band first you stretch it a little like i said when i when, I, when i'm done sewing i'll come and show you so at 0.5 sewing allowance 0.5 so at 0.5 inch the sewing allowance that were left so you did the first one let's do the same thing to the second sleeve have the band sew it at the 0.5 you stretch it a little not too much oh, just a little yes stretch it a little and sew it like this so when you are done sewing it like we did to the other one you join it together and we attach it to the body so i'll do that and come and show you now I've joined the bodies together and also I've attached the band to the sleeve and attached the sleeve to the body. I told you I was going to do that with the uh, four thread overlocking and also the excess, that's the excess of the placket inside, use the same four thread to finish it up so that you have a good finishing. I did that one as well. So I'm going to be attaching the collar to it now. This is the collar I'll be using. So it has, to, this, is the, this is a smooth side, the one that will be outside and the rough side that will be inside. So fold it into two and notch it at the middle. Notch it at the middle. After after that, pick the clothes as well, the back side into two, and notch it at the middle, at the center. Just a little notch. Notch it there. 
Also, okay. Now I cut piece of cloth that's just 1.5 inch wide. 1.5 inch. That's what I'll be using for back taping. We have all used for back taping, but I'll be using this one for for the sake of this tutorial and subsequent ones. I can use the normal back taping, so I'll show you how you can you, you use it. So, and the length depends on the length of the of the neck. So, now bring the two plackets together. Don't forget that the left side is always up. And you say the left side is always the one up, and the right side is always under. Bring it together and notch both at the center. Bring it together and notch both at the middle. Notch the middle. Make sure you align it properly. Do that and note the middle. Not the middle. Okay. So this is the middle way the plaquettes will be uh, the color will be starting from. So what do we do? We do like this. That's from the left side. Take your color, place it here. And fold it over. So it's going to start from the notch. From the notch, hold it together. Then use your machine to hold it down before you now put your back tape. Now take your back tape, fold it into two like this, then place it on it so we are sewing it together you can choose to sew the color first then you run the back tape but there's no need for that since i can do it together so make sure that the one you notch here is aligning with the one you notch on the cloth so it means that you have to stretch your collar a little bit you have to stretch your collar a little bit adjust it very well and so the back tape together with the collar and the cloth. Always adjust it as you're sewing. Like I said, if it's not convenient for you, you can sew the collar first, then you later bring the back tape and sew it. Make sure it ends at this notch on the other side. It must end here. So you have to stretch your collar to go around. Put it down and bring your back tape. After that, do the same thing. You fold it back. It's already at the at the middle here. Let me let me show it again. Make sure it's at the middle here where we notched it, at the center of the placket. Put it there. Then you take it back, this one back, and fold it over. Also, the middle where we notch it, I must align together. Then you adjust it here. Put your back tip and sew it. the excess of
Okay, after that, you turn it over. Bring it out. The same thing on the other side. Bring it out. Now, I want to close up the back, finish it up back tech so this is what you would do let me show it very well so this is what you want to do you want to use this piece to cover up this sorry like this so you run your stitch on it this is what you want to achieve like this like this then you run your stitch on top so finish that make sure you drag your clothes out so that it's not too bulky at the back as you are sewing And that is sewed to the end though, you not sew it to the end, just top and this place. So, so the next one I will do now is to take it to the button machine, insert the button and also attach my button. So I'll go and do that and bring it back to show it to us. So if you are yet to subscribe to our YouTube channel, please kindly subscribe and also hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload our subsequent videos. And also please give this video a thumbs up, like, share and comment. Thank you. So this is the outcome of the collar t-shirts. So I've done the button hole and I'll fix the button. Also, I've done the taping. I told you I added band to the sleeve, and you can see I choose to garnish it with this <laughs> this design. You can see it's looking nice. That's very nice. I can just to put any design on your t-shirt, either printing or any ready-made design. And can you see this one is looking very, very, very nice. So, thank you so much for watching this video. I'm